right. Top of the morning to you. From Kauai, Hawaii. This is WWJ. Whipping with Joe. This morning we sports the uh, HMX. A six foot ten rod, medium heavy. And uh, my friend picked it up from Lihui Fishing Supply yesterday for me. They had two come in and called Gene up and told Gene to hold one for me because my friend June was going to come and pick it up for me. So anyway, this is what we got. HMX 610, uh, my favorite rod, one of the favorite one. Uh, last year um, I had 10 GT strikes in 11 days and I landed five, landed five GTs with this rod right here. Anyway, so we're sporting a Spharos, a Spharos 6000 here. Well, my go-to reel, I said, I just got this back from uh, service. That's one has over 350 cranking hours, one I recommend the most. Here we got braid, we're using 50 pound braid. We've got a uni knot here to the swivel. A surgeon's knot. And people ask me why I use a surgeon's knot. I mean, there's a lot of knots you can use, and the reason why I use a surgeon's knot actually is because my dad, I used to fish with my dad, and this is the knot he used for his, all his alus for fishing. But he, my, my dad caught a whole bunch of alus with this knot right here. Uh, very easy to tie. And so I, memory of my father is a surgeon's knot. Now we've got a Rapala loop knot. This is 80 pound Andy here. This is a Rapala loop knot here. And people ask me why I use that. I don't use a swivel because I, I want the movement to be free right of the wire. So it's up to you what you want to use, but that's what I use. Now this is a cockle lure from uh, Gary on his trip. If you notice on the back end here, there's BBs. And when what happened was when I was, uh, when he came down and he, uh, he gave me these, I thought I'd go and test it out. It was a little light at first, uh, tumbles with the wind. So I had to put like two BBs first, then four BBs and six BBs. So what I did was I drilled them in here, just to the top, so the BBs could fit inside. And then I put epoxy over it. Just for additional weight. Flies true and blue, actually. Uh, I like it. So uh, this is what we're sporting this morning. So uh, we throw a ten, about that. Uh, we throw, actually I normally throw about 10 casts in the air, like because of here, so we took 10. And we'll see what we can find here. This is first cast here. The crank and pop. I love the HMX rod. It's like stiffer than the, uh, the HMG actually. Uh, if, it, uh, if you tell me to pick between the two, I'll, I'll pick an HMX rod. Uh, this is a 610. They don't make a seven foot one as far as I know. So. so we're looking for something early this morning. Actually, it's not that early. It's pretty late already actually, but uh, I was doing some other things before I came out. So. so our group uh, that, that comes to my WWJ with, uh, let's see, Roland has already caught two GTs this year. Uh, one 10 pound Omilu and another 26 pound GT caught on a tsunami popper. Uh, that's Roland. We call him Roland number two because there's two Rolands. <laughs> and uh, we've got uh, Jeff. Jeff uh, hit an eight pound Omilu yesterday using a GT ice cream. Uh, I think it was a two ounce, a yellow one. Nice fish. And uh, he didn't have a video cam though. He didn't have it with him. So, but 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 he got he got the fish. Came over to my house and we made, we, we 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 waited. It was uh, it was eight pounds. At uh, 7.87, so we'll consider that an 8 pound omilo. Nice fish. Uh, but he said he had a lot of action. Caught him on a 5000 FJ. Uh, and uh, had a Allegiance pen rod, 7 foot. And uh, he liked that. I mean, he said that the GT cast far. Uh, Roland uh, was using a pen cork, uh, uses a 10 foot rod, and he was using the Tsunami Popper. So he's already caught two GTs. Um, I've managed to caught 
uh, catch two GTs this year too. One a uh, little over 10 and of course the most recent one which is uh, around 25 pounds. So uh, that's our take so far. Um, yesterday I uh, gave the group uh, one of these poppers. This is uh, this, this poppers retail for $25. Uh, gave it to the group to go and test out the Kakulur. Anyway, so uh, because that, that's a compliment from Gary. So uh, I put BBs in all of them uh, for the additional weight. Uh, actually, when you get it, it's actually 1.4 ounces, and now she's running uh, about 1.7 with the hooks installed. So uh, I put some uh, two hooks on it for the rings, and we got those from uh, Seaboom, uh, from Dell at Seaboom. So got to get our stuff locally. But anyway, so uh, this is what we're popping here. We're casting about uh, maybe 80, 90 yards. Very easy to cast with this uh, rod. You so got, you can feel it's a lot of backbone compared to the HMG. HMG is a little lighter, but uh, I still prefer uh, well, HMX if you had to. Just that I, I couldn't get another six foot ten rod, but uh, Gene and Lihui Fish bought them in. Okay, so we. Cross the number here, we'll do two more and then we're, we're gonna move here. But uh, I say we're looking for something that's laying loose, it's gotta be around here. See if we got one that's laying loose inside here. A lot of foam, I like to uh, throw in where you get a lot of white water, and they said it's just, it's just timing. Yeah, just timing, you gotta be the right time. In fact, Jeff caught one here on his first cast. And for rolling, it took him four hours. I think four hours. Uh, but, but, but if he whips for in duration that, 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 you know, that long. But uh, it's okay, it's all good. Um, so anyway, this will be the last cast that we move, so. Now what I want is when I want to when I want to when I click the rod when I pull it toward me with a pop, then I want the I want the lure to come toward me. And if it doesn't come toward me, then then I, then I gotta pull a little hard harder, and that's why I, I I don't like any soft tip tip. The same is a little soft for me, although it's really medium heavy. Uh, anyway, again, thank you for watching WWJ Webbing with Joe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And have a great day. Aloha from Hawaii. Kauai. Especially Kauai. Okay. Thank you again.